Hey young world, this is the young executive Carl Michelle, the young King Tut in the flesh. Wanted to, uh, to share with you one of my favorite slogans, and that's do it all and do it well. But you gotta be careful with that. It's actually a double-edged sword, right? When I heard the slogan, do it all, do it well, I thought I had to do everything under the sun. So if someone asked me for a favor, I'd do it. If someone asked me to work an event, I'd be there. If someone asked me to do anything for them, I dropped what I had to do and I did it, right? But I quickly found out that I was spreading myself too thin. So instead of um, doing it all and doing it well, I was doing a little bit of everything in a mediocre fashion. And what the TI says, I don't want no mediocre, right? So before you can move on to the next one, you gotta master the first one. And well, okay Carl, well how do you master it? Step number one, not just focus, but laser focus. That means give whoever you're with, or whatever you're giving your attention to, the privilege of your undivided attention, right? So whatever's distracting you, you gotta let go of it. And it's probably that thing that you're holding in your hand right now, the cell phone, right? You gotta get rid of the cell phone. Not saying throw it out or anything like that, but stop being on the cell phone when you're supposed to be doing something else. When you're at the gym, you're doing more texting than repping, right? When you're at the dinner table, you're taking so many pictures of your food, you forget to eat it, right? You're at the barber shop and you're on Instagram so much that you forgot to get a haircut, right? Let the cell phone go. Right? Give the people that you're with and the things that you have to do the privilege of your undivided attention. Step number two, practice until it becomes second nature to you. My man Kevin Hart is regarded as probably one of the funniest guys on the planet right now. And it's not just based off of his natural ability to be funny, but it's based off of his work ethic. Do you think when he does a stand-up comedy show, that's his first time practicing it? Not at all. He practices until he makes it look effortless. And we can't talk about work ethic unless we talk about the champ, Floyd Money Mayweather. Again, his work ethic is unmatched. He understands that a champion does not become a champion in the ring, on the court, or on the field he's only recognized there, right? So practice is what it takes. It's what you do when no one else is watching that determines whether you're going to be a champion or a chump. And the only difference between a champ and a chump is you. Get that. The third and final step to mastery is to be the best at whatever it is that you do, right? See, Michael Jordan, what they say, like Mike, I want to be like Mike, right? He was the best at what he did. He never had the, 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 the goal to be a movie star, to be the biggest brand in sports, to have all these endorsements. His only goal was to be the best basketball player. In high school, he didn't even make the varsity team, right? He, he could have got discouraged. He could have even quit but he did not let that stop him. He actually outworked everybody. When everybody on the high school varsity team was sleeping, he woke up early and he was determined to practice, practice, and practice, right? So when people said, hey, you never shoot three points, he'll, he perfected his game. You can't play defense. He perfected his game. And now he's recognized as the best player on the planet. And because of that, he got endorsements. The Jordan brand is the best in the business. And he's a movie star. You remember Space Jam? He's a movie star. But he only focused on basketball. And all these opportunities opened up. Now, when somebody asks you, hey, what do you do? Or what do you want to do? Everyone lists about 10 different things. But that, again, is making you a, a, a jack of all trades, but a master of none. So I'm asking you, to be laser focused, practice until you make it look effortless, and then make sure you're the best at what you do. Hey, young world, again, this is the young executive Carl Michelle reporting to you live and reminding you to do it all and to do it well. And if no one's ever told you today, I love you, there's nothing you can do about it.